I'm joined this morning by two people, Chris Bennett and uh, Charles Neal. And uh, they're two of the guys who are responsible for the, the new trade show, Groundfest, which was announced last month and which will be held um, next September. Now, Chris, I've known both of you, particularly you, uh, for quite a number of years. And you strike me as been a, a sensible, intelligent, smart guy. Why on earth have you launched a new trade show in the middle of uh, energy uh, crisis, a cost of living crisis, and a war, a war in Ukraine? Yeah, well, firstly, thanks for having us, Scott, and, and thanks for the, the kind words. I'll certainly take those. Um, quite simply, why have we launched Ground Test? Well, because we feel that there's a, there's a, dem a demand for, for a show such as Ground Fest. You know, we've, for years, we've listened to uh, exhibitors, to visitors, we've listened to the industry, and, uh, and, and quite honestly, this is the show that the industry wants. It's a mix of indoor space with outdoor demos, we're offering a, a real hands-on interactive experience, you know, the opportunity to network after the show. Um, and, and it's being held at the right time of year in September. You know, all of the research points to this. So we're really excited. And, you know, bearing in mind that the, the cost of living and, and all of the other, other um, things that you mentioned, we feel that we've reflected that in our prices. Um, we know that it's not it's not exactly cheap to to exhibit uh, at many uh, trade events, and uh, Groundsfest gives the opportunity to to a wide range of companies to to get involved. Now, Charles, I know I'm asking you because I know you live fairly close. People have long talked about Stoneley as being the um, the ideal venue for a trade show for our industry. What is it about Stoneley that uh, make people see those things? Yeah, so. Um... Stony Park is first and foremost. It's very very easy to get to the the linkway to the M40, A46. It's um, fifteen minutes from Birmingham linkways and Coventry. Um, but the one thing that so when we're looking into this, our event model works perfectly for this industry and this and our event model. But Stony Park, it had, you have complete freedom. Um, to effectively, to a certain extent, do what you like with your, um, especially with your outdoor plots. You can have, you can be a, a static exhibit, or you can demo for the full two days, which then has the, the knock-on effect for, you know, if you're demoing for, for two full days with full flexibility, you then certain companies can trim down their their travelling to, you know, to do demo days all around the UK and, and Europe, really, because you can see it for for the two days with us at Stoneley. Um other benefits, you know, free parking, um, which we which we know visitors will, will, will appreciate. Um and other other knock-on effects as well. Like I, I've worked on events um at venues around the UK and I'm I'm fully aware that tenancy costs are on a different planet, which can't be helped. But the knock-on effect then is also to the exhibitors. So that's another plus for Stoneley Park. It gives us the chance, as Chris mentioned, to to, well, to 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 you know, to to put on fair prices, yeah, for, uh, as little as forty five pound a square meter, which, as you touched on, um, Scott, cost of living, I think, is, is a key time for for us to to, to bring this forward. Mm -hmm. um, Chris, there's been several attempts to get outdoor shows off the market. Some of them are still trying to find their feet. The problem tends to be getting the visitors through the gates. What is it you guys are doing to, to ensure? To promise your exhibit, your uh, exhibitors that um, you're going to have an audience there for them. Yeah, absolutely. We know the challenges. Um, we know how hard it is to, to get people to the show. Um, but fortunately, we are we're a highly skilled team in, in this respect. We've got you know years of experience of, of doing so. Um, you know, we know every nook and cranny to get into, whether it be. Through, through the internet, through Google AdWords, through um, search engine optimization, through uh, social media ads, by targeting people, by job titles, um, by demographic, um, by interests, by, um, by a whole range of different ways to, to really target the, the visitors that we need to, to get along to the show. Um, it's not easy, but, but you know, I'm, I'm very confident in saying that we are we're well, well drilled to do so. We know what works. 
Now, this is the vagaries of the British weather, of course. And being an outdoor show, um, we'd have an impact. Um, well, do you know what the weather's going to be like? I mean, if, if, what, what, what are the chances of good weather for the, that time in September next year? Well, of course, that's something that we need to bear in mind. But as I'm sure you're, you're aware, the, the last few Septembers are, have been really good. Uh, weather's been on our side. Um, and we, obviously, we've, um, we've done our homework and, and actually researched. You know, it's not always the case, but we've actually researched weather in September for, for that week in, in Warwickshire. And there's uh, less than a 16% chance of, of it raining. Um, you know, this hope it does remain that way. But but listen, we're an outdoor industry. You know, people like to be outdoors. If there's if there's a, a scatter of rain, then you know, I'm sure that you know people people will get on with it. But of course, that's why we have indoor areas, and a lot of our outdoor areas will be covered as well. Now, Charles, the two big shows in our industry are, are Saltex and, and BTME, and they're run by the GMA and bigger and much of the profit that they create goes back into the industry by way of training courses and that sort of thing is there a concern that if you are successful you'll be taking you'll be um starving some of those um profits from the other two shows and they're taking that away from them yeah I mean, this uh, during the planning this this aspect to our event model came, came up in um it's sort of first second on the list really for us to really address um, so we've got, which we will announce the plans, but they're they're currently um, uh, sort of behind the scenes at the minute. We're working on those, but we've got a few plans to to actually give back to the industry um, through apprenticeship schemes um, and, and training schemes. I know Chris can touch on that a little bit more. I would say in terms of giving back. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we've worked in this industry for for, for over twenty years. Uh, it's an industry that we're very passionate about, and and, and Groundsfest, we we were we wanted to make sure that it's all about giving back. You know, and, and we're certainly working hard behind the scenes in this respect. So what we want to do is we want to identify the most pressing issues in the industry and, and really make these our priorities. So, and this is already taking shape. Um, you know, so profits will be going towards encouraging new people into the industry uh, through funding and apprenticeship programs and, and mental health first aid training as well. Um, so there's a lot bubbling away and, and we're speaking to, to, to many people about this. Um, so, yeah, watch this space. It's something we're very excited about. Now, I know it's early days, but Charles, you've been on the phone, I imagine, speaking to people. What sort of reaction have you been getting to Grounds Fest? Uh, from the industry yeah to, to be honest uh, uh, launching uh, a, a launch show first year event is always is always a bit daunting but we obviously behind the scenes believe in the concept but there's always this slight doubt how is it going to be taken but to be honest we, we're only four weeks old and the amount of space that has already been booked up with us is just and the support we've had is overwhelming um you know we already have you know We've got many exhibitors in already, but for example, Campy Turf Care, Dennis Assisis, Overton UK, Cress, for example, have just booked just shy of 600 square metres with us, um, which is a, a huge statement. Um, and since after the first week after the press launch, I w- I'm, I'm, me personally, directly, I'm, I'm receiving several inquiries a day, whether it be to have a stand or for a bit more info and a meeting request. My my mileage on my car has certainly gone up over the last four weeks, but uh, it's all been worthwhile, and it's yeah, it, it's really encouraging. Um, I think that the mix of indoor, aesthetically indoor halls, that there's no difference really to any top UK venue, um, and then the the freedom for outdoor as well has it, really worked. Um, on top of that, probably, it's probably on your on your question list anyway, but the, one of the main things as well that's really really stuck out is the the festival side of things it's the exhibitors really uh who i've been speaking to are really encouraged by that because a festival can be perceived as a not not a rave as such or a a big party it's just somewhere to unwind after the show or later on the afternoon to to stick around and we believe that will keep visitors there for um, longer periods of the event rather than going home at one and two. Oh, I've got nowhere to go now. I need to get out before the traffic. Um, so that side of things has really worked. So, um, yeah, four weeks in, Scott. I'm, yeah, really, really pleased with the progress. 
I understand as well there's various options for people if they wish to, to camp or various accommodation options for the uh, for the couple of days as well. So it should be a bit different from some of the other. We have to pay for ha- highly expensive uh, hotels or, or Airbnbs. Hmm. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Like I said at the start of the interview, it's um, Stony Park is, is fantastic. I, I worked on a, a previous event, a completely different industry, uh, but we actually moved from a um, from the NEC and, and other venues as well to come across and the flexibility we Stony Park provides organizers is just is just second to none um so yeah like you said you can camp <laughs> you, yeah you can bring bring in your caravan off site um but also we've got hundreds of hotels and Airbnbs nearby at reasonably reasonably fair prices you know Leamington Spa Warwick Coventry so it's um yeah uh, for our event model, it's an all-round perfect venue. Well, it seems a long way off next September, but I'm sure that time will go in, and before we know it, we'll be there. So I hope you get all the best weather-wise, uh, get good attendances, and it becomes a, a, a very valuable addition to what we already have in this wonderful industry of ours. So thank you very much, both you, Chris, and you, Charles. Thank you. Thank you, Scott. Thank, thank you. Scott. Appreciate it.